Hello guys, this is Akik Jack and I'm here with another video and this is a little redstone project show off. I built this a while ago but I didn't make videos back then and now I found it again and I thought it's pretty awesome. It's really made bad, like I could have done it a lot better but yeah, it's it was my first bigger redstone project so yeah, pretty happy with it. So what this is, it's a calculator it can calculate um, numbers 1 to 9 plus minus times so the biggest number you can get is 9 times 9 and the smallest number is 1 minus 9 so yeah let's just do a little calculation I don't know let's go to um, plus and let's go 6 and it will first show a stupid thing uh, it always does always takes a bit to update and there we go 2 plus 6 is 8 so that's right so let's reset it and oh what the hell there we go that took quite long whatever um, let's do a little um, minus thing let's go again 2 let's do minus and I don't know 4 and let's wait. Why does it always show this stupid thing? It's so weird. Well, but now it will update. And oh man, I haven't played on it so long. Maybe it's with newer Minecraft version. It's um, bugged out or something. Should be negative two, so these two should be powered as well. You can see it's a lot of redstone down here. Um, could have done that a lot more compact. So oh, okay, this. A redstone missing. Oh yeah, it probably will bug out again because I need to fix something I noticed before. Like here. So let's fly back. So now it's negative two, but when we now press on the reset button, I will already know what happened because oh, it worked. So that's pretty cool. I thought it would fail again, but yeah. Now let's do a little times calculation. Let's go, I don't know, 6 times, I don't know, 8, 7. And now it will take a bit longer to update. Mm, let's wait. Forty two, so that's right. Six times seven is forty two. So now let's do the smallest and the biggest number. Whoa, there was a sound lag weird thing. So let's first do the smallest number, so it's one minus nine. So let's check what happens. Wait. Negative eight. So not the biggest number. Um reset it again wait a little second and let's go 9 times 9 so now it will take the longest no not 56 81 so that's right um okay I will show you the redstone I won't explain all of it because that would take way too long because it's huge um it's actually way too huge so I will explain this complicated thing later probably I will first show the basic stuff so um, I first will show the actual calculator so see how huge it is <laughs> it's so stupid I could have done it so much smaller look at all this redstone it looks awesome Um. so now this is only this stuff only the blue stuff is the actual calculator so all the other stuff is just wiring up a uh, compiler, decompiler, uh, no, compiler, decompiler that way and all the stuff up back there is display and these long lines are just wiring up and I was pretty impressed that it worked even though the chunks weren't even loaded but so yeah these um, four blue things uh, full adders they're called um, are just for the adding uh, just for plus calculating plus 
and this actually works in binary. I will just show you for a sec. Um, so this is this is the first number, the first input. So it's like one. Wait, is this one or nine? Yeah. So nine eight seven six five four three two one, and here it gets converted into binary. So it will be like binary. If you don't know what's binary, then I won't explain it now because then this video will be way too long. So this is just adding. This is um, negative, so no, not negative. This is um, minus, calculating minus. So these um, calculated, and when it's a positive, so when you calculate minus and it's still positive, you will get the uh, solution from this one. And when you have a negative solution, then these will do this. Um, and now the multiplication is the biggest one. It's not the c multiplication is not a real multiplication. It's more uh, um, adding, like it um, just does all the patterns, like which pattern gives what number, and then adding all of them. So yeah, um, I really could have done that a lot smaller as well, but I just built it and didn't change it afterwards. So it's just with two stories and weird and so on. So <laughs> then. Um, what we have down here? Wait, is it up here? I thought I would put it on the ground. Oh wait, I'm confused now. Um. Oh yeah, it's uh, them and the ones at the bottom. So, <laughs> um, these four lines and it's uh, it's always night time. Um, these four and these four um are the output. So. And then they go back here, um, and go into this thing, into the huge thing. So, what this huge thing does? So, the right part um, is also two stories. Is decompiling it, so it goes from one. No, it goes from yeah, it goes from one to eighty-one. So eighty-one things, and then it also goes from negative one to negative eight again. So. What this does, it just goes with the binary numbers and converts them back to normal numbers. So we will have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. And up here, we have 40, 41, 42, 43, and so on. And these signals go in here. So only the ones like that, only the thing comes out of here. Um, that well, I don't know how to pl what I want to say there. But what this part does, it will. Um, convert it to a seven segment display um, signal. So um, for example zero will activate um, nothing on the left part, only something on the right part, so only on the right side here. And will activate special virus which will um, let's go up which will go to this um, display and um, put like these patterns on the display so you can see it. Um, and now the thing up here is just again um, a seven segment uh, um, compiler and it just comes from the numpad so you can see the numbers up there. So this is the first number, second number, this is times or plus or minus and that's where the solution comes from. So now let's get to this little thing which I'm really proud of because I actually all the other stuff I saw tutorials on or something, but this I completely designed on my own, and that's probably why it's so complicated because you probably could do it easier. But what this thing does, it's um, like when you press the first number, this thing stores the first number and will send it to there, so it will stay there. And then when you press the this number, it uh, not the like sign you want to calculate, um, it will store this and also switch um, wait, whoa, switch the input so um, the numpad down here uh, won't store uh, again in the same place but will store down here. So that's what these pistons do. So when I press the first number it will um, this will not activate this down there, but this will activate this up there. 
um, and then when I press a, a sign like one of these they will um, activate all of these pistons so this wait let me just do it so when we press the one you can see um, wait I'm confused where is it um, one is up here goes to there to there all the way to here so um, that's really weird right now I'm really confused why oh yeah that's where the one is here um, so it the signal um, went wait. oh yeah the signal went up here and went to this little machine thing that I also designed on my own um, which will store uh, the number so you can see it stays activated even though the button is not anymore and activate this signal and now when I press no plus um, you can see these pistons are pushed down this signal wouldn't get up there anymore this is still stored and now this signal would go into this block and down there so um, when we press one again oh damn that was stupid let's place another block there there we go press it and now you can see the signal went down here and this is activated as well so this one and this one is activated now the one goes in to here so this is inverted so now this is off so these torches get turned on and this one will show a zero a uh, one because I pressed one so and the plus is coming also from there just activating this let's also have a little look at the other stuff just really quick while I'm flying I'll just say um, there will be a link in the description to download this if you want to check it out there are a lot smaller designs out there I'm pretty sure but if you just want to play around with it and check it out you can download it so um, now the first number goes in here goes in the decompiler uh, in the compiler for one and we'll just activate the binary one and why is this not oh yeah because it's all the way over here no yeah because here the one is over here um, it compiles also to the binary one so the two binary ones um, are going next to each other these are the signs so this plus is activated as well it goes all the way to back there because it has to activate everything but the only thing where it comes through is um, these two to the adding thing so these two ones go in here and don't come out here but come out here and this says where, is the, where this said oh yeah here it is it says two so the output is two um, and then it will go to the output line the output goes all the way to here goes through here activates the top one and the bottom one because it's like two two ways and will not activate the zero not the one but the two will be deactivated so how this works I won't explain either if you want tutorials on some parts of this you can tell me and I will be happy I will do it for you so then this one turns off for the two and won't activate anything on here but activate some stuff on here on the right display and if you want a tutorial on how to do it like seven segment displays um, tell me I can do that as well so I could make a huge series on building a calculator <laughs> so yeah that's pretty much it um, if you want to check it out download it um, leave a like for all the work on it did on it and tell me if you're impressed or if you think it's uh, stupid um, and yeah that we got the little bug again um, so I will fix that later and have a good time um, check out my other vids even though the vids <laughs> I just laughed because I want to say videos short but vids is a German word for joke but yeah <laughs> whatever um, check out my other videos and leave a like leave a comment and share it with your friends if you think it's awesome um yeah have a good time and i will see you 
in the next video. Bye.